I've got my um, two case tribal lock set up again to hopefully try this uh, cut comparison again. This is my chrome vanadium case tribal lock and this is my stainless steel case tribal lock and I have two identical stacks of cardboard. I have three and a half pieces of the FedEx box that I used before. Um, and then I have, uh, I think six, six of these USPS medium size boxes uh, for a total of 10 and a half pieces of cardboard for each knife. So like I said, same, same exact stack here to keep things um, as equal as possible. So I also have a rag with some alcohol on it because that was an issue last time. So I can clean the blades off in case we're hanging up on any of the, um, any of the, the paper. I have a notebook here so I can keep track of how many cuts I've made. That was something else that I didn't do a good job of last time. And I have two stacks of paper. One is the glossy paper I was having trouble cutting before. The other is the phone book paper that is, you know, pretty much the standard that most people use. So I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to start off with my stainless steel case tribal lock and <clears throat> we'll just count out the cuts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let me grab my notebook here and that is going to be ten. Let's see if we can still cut the phone book paper and it's it's not even a challenge. Oops. Let's see if we can get a good cut here. All right, so we're good after 10 cut. Try the phone book paper again. And again, we're cutting through just fine. Some of that roughness is just me, but it's cutting through just fine. Not an issue. Total of 30 cuts. And we're still, still cutting just fine. Uh-oh. Still cutting just fine. If I can get a good piece of the paper. There you go. So it's still cutting just fine. Let's look. Let's see. It's still cutting pretty well. Um, let's do 10 more and see where we're at. We'll just grab another piece of paper. And we're still cutting. Maybe, maybe it's not cutting quite as well, but it's still pretty easily cutting the phone book paper, so I'm not ready to say it's dull quite yet. So let's mark that down. That brings us up to 50. For the sake of time, I'm gonna see how it cuts. Okay. It looks like it's starting to hang up. So it looks like it will cut if you take your time, but it's kind of starting to hang up now. Since it is hanging up, let's try to clean this up just a little bit to make sure it's not the tape. It's definitely starting to hang up now. 
So after 50 cuts, it will slice, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit iffy. So let's do 10 more. It's cutting, but it's kind of rough. If you get it just right, you can still, you can still slice through the foam book paper if you get it just right. So let's do 10 more. That brings us up to 70 cuts. And we'll check to see where we're at. Huh. It's a little, it's a little bit iffy. Huh. Let's try cleaning this off some. So let's try the uh, foam book paper one more time. And it looks like if you take your time, it'll still, it will still cut it, but it's not, it's hanging up a little bit. So let's do 10 more cuts. Total of 80 cuts. And it is cutting, but you can see it's You've got to kind of get it just right. So let's do 10 more. And it looks like we're still getting, looks like we're still getting some pretty decent cuts. Again, you kind of have to um, get it just right, and then you have to kind of kind of slide the blade through the material. So it will slice the phone book paper, but it won't push cut anymore. So let's make note of that. That was 90 cuts, by the way. All right, so that's 10 more cuts for a total of... 100. And it's still cutting pretty good. It's not the razor that we started off with, but it is cutting through pretty decently. So let's do 10 more. 110. The edge looks pretty clean. So let's try some more paper. And we're still able to cut the paper. If we slice, it slices very well. Uh oh. I think you all can see that. It slices, but it won't push cut. So let's do 10 more cuts. So that is. 120 cuts. Nope. Not, not doing the hottest here. Let's see. As I said, you kind of have to have to 
guide the uh, edge through the material. So. I think that we're kind of reaching, we're kind of reaching where I would say it's really not cutting um, the phone book paper anymore. So you can see it'll it'll kind of slice through if you kind of take your your time. But I don't know if we would consider that cutting or not. So that's at 120 cuts. Let's do 10 more and see where we're at. Well, I keep. You can see it still looks like it's, it's still going. It looks like it's still going. So let's let's do ten more. Let's see where we're at with sharpness. Again, is it razor sharp? No, it's not. But will it still cut phone book paper? Absolutely. So let's do 10 more cuts. We'll see where we're at. And actually, that feels pretty sharp. It, it'll still slice pretty good. It won't push cut, but it'll slice. So let's do 10 more and see where we're at. Check and see. Well, oops. Let's see. There are a few catches and, and hangs in the in the edge, but it does still cut. All right, so let's go ahead and do 10 more cuts. Let's note that we're at 170 now, and we will see what we're doing as far as the paper goes. So we can still slice. Like I said, there are a few, there are a few catches, but it does slice still, especially if you if you keep your momentum going. So let's try a little bit more. For a total of 180 cuts. And It's still slicing phone book paper. And if you didn't watch the first video or you forgot, this is a 17 degree include or 17 degree per side edge with a total of 34 degrees inclusive on my wicked edge. And I stropped this knife on the um my flex strop, which has black, green, and white compound to a mirror polish. So we're at, oops, we're at 180 slices. 190 cuts.
And it does look like there's a little something on the edge. Let's wipe the edge off. And it'll still, <clears throat> it'll still slice through the phone book paper, so. All right, let's do 10 more cuts and we'll see where we're at. We're at 200 cuts. You can see it is still slicing the phone book paper. So, we're still good to go at 200 cuts. Let's see if we can get 10 more cuts out of this piece here. That brings us to 210, like I said. We will pull out another piece of phone book paper. And it's still, Maybe not very nicely, but it will still cut the phone book paper. So, and I think you can see that it's not, it's not jagged or anything. So it's not tearing the paper, it's actually cutting it. So that brings us up to 220 cuts. Dry this off on my sleeve. And as you can see, if you get the paper just right, it'll still, it'll still cut. But it's definitely, it's definitely a slicing cut now. All right, so let's do 10 more to bring us up to 230 cuts. And we're still, still cutting phone book paper. That was a little bit of a tear, but. Still cutting phone book paper. So um, let's see if we can get up to 250. We'll have to keep going. Let's see. So if you kind of help it get started and then keep it going, it'll still, it'll still cut. That was a little bit of a tear there at the at the end, but it'll still cut. It'll still still cut. So that was 240. So we're at 250 and 
and you can see it's still, oops, it's tearing a little bit, but for the most part, it's still cutting this phone book paper. And I'm not so sure that I don't see any tape on here, but I'm not so sure that some of that's not just actually some tape gumming up the uh, the cuts. Because you can see there that cut went that cut went incredibly smooth. So it's still it's still actually cutting it after 250 cuts. Um, uh, let's see. Let's do 10 more cuts. Let's it might not be the best cuts, but again, we're still we're still slicing on through. If you can get it started, it, it seems like it's cutting okay. Let's see. So it's tearing a little bit there towards the edge, but it's still definitely It's still definitely sharp. It's just not not as sharp as it was. So it's still definitely sharp. It's just not as sharp as it was. Let's do let's do 10 more and I think that'll finish out this sheet and then we'll we'll consider this done. And that brings us up to um 280 cuts. So let's see. Now I think we're getting to the point where the edge might be done. Yeah, it's really it's it's not dull. It's definitely it's definitely still sharp, sharp enough to do any day-to-day -day tasks, but I definitely, definitely think we're at a point now where it's no longer going to cut this paper quite as well as it had. So at 280, it seems as though we are, we're pretty dull. Actually, I almost just cut my thumb. Um, I'll tell you what, we're so close to 300. Let's just, let's see if we can't get 20 more cuts. And again, I'm going to cut a piece with no adhesive. For a total of 290. And it'll still... It'll still do okay. It'll still do okay. It'll still do okay, but it's not as sharp as we started with. So let's do 10 more to bring us up to 300 and then we'll call it done. This is at 300 cuts. So 
So at 300 cuts, you can see it's still got a respectable edge on here. Um, now I think that just for the sake of time, I'm gonna call 300, um, 300 cuts well enough. And I'm gonna jump over to the chrome vanadium. Let's see. I think you guys are seeing it still. Oh, that was a tear, but there's still a respectable edge here. So that's 300 cuts with the case stainless steel um, tribal lock. We'll see uh, probably, well, definitely in a separate video. We're already at going on 45 minutes here. We'll, um, We'll run a separate video with the uh, chrome vanadium. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.